Louise here with you today and welcome to the Kindergarten Sabbath School lesson. Today we have a special story for you boys and girls and it's called Sarah's Special Baby. But before that, do any of you like singing songs? You do? That's great! Come on boys and girls, come join us as we sing songs of praise for God together. Baby. Boys and girls, what was the title of our lesson? Sarah's Special Baby. Yes, that's right. Sarah's Special Baby. The memory verse says, Let us love one another, for love comes from God. First John 4, 7. Let's repeat it again. Let us love one another, for love comes from God. First John 4, 7. Let's repeat it one more time. Let us love one another, for love comes from God. First John 4, 7. Now it's your turn. Let us love one another, for love comes from God. First John 4, 7. Great job, everyone. Thank you. And thank you, Michelle and Priscilla, for saying our memory verse. You're welcome. The message for today's story is, people in Christian families love each other. Before the lesson, what do we do first, kids? We pray. Yes, that's right. We pray. We invite you to pray with us. I have knees that bend for prayer. I have hands that fold for prayer. I have eyes that close for prayer. Now I talk to Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. As we're going to start our lesson. As we're going to start our lesson. About Sarah's special baby. About Sarah's special baby. And be with us. And be with us. And speak to us. And speak to us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, what is the best surprise you've ever had? Something special. Something you never realized what happened? God gave Abraham and Sarah something special, and it made them very happy. Abraham sat quietly in the shade in front of his tent. It was too hot, especially for an old man like Abraham. Abraham gazed out of the pastures in front of him. Way right there in the distance, there were three men walking. It was way too hot for them to be out during the middle of the day. Abraham scrambled on his feet and hurried to greet the men. He bowed low before them. Please stay with me for a while, Abram said. I will bring some water to wash your dusty feet. Rest under the shady tree while I get you something to eat. Thank you, said the men. It would be good to rest. Abraham hurried to Sarah and asked her to make some fresh bread. And then he told his servants to get some food ready for the visitors. When the food was ready, Abraham served it himself. He stood nearby while the men ate. Then one of the men looked up at Abraham. Abraham didn't know it then, but that man was the Lord. Where is Sarah, your wife? The man asked. She's in the tent, Abraham answered. Then the man said to Abraham, I will be back about this time next year. By then your wife will have a son of her very own. When Sarah heard the man, she laughed. <laughs> I'm 90 years old, Sarah said. That's much too old to have a baby. Then the man said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say I'm too old to have a baby? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No, I will be back about this time next year and Sarah will be holding her own baby boy in her arms. Sarah put her hand over her mouth. <gasps> How could that man know her thoughts? There was only one way. That man must be the Lord. 
And what the Lord's promise came true, Sarah did have a baby boy, a little baby boy of her very own. When he was born, Sarah told Abraham, I want to name this baby Isaac, because that means he laughs. The Lord has made me so happy, I want to laugh all the time. <laughs> she said with a beautiful smile. And everyone who hears the story will laugh with me. I was much too old to have a baby, Sarah exclaimed. But the Lord gave me one. Praise be the name of the Lord. It is true. The man was right. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. That was the end of our lesson, boys and girls. Remember, God is always true to his promises, just like how he did to Abraham and Sarah. Even though they thought they were too old to have a baby, the Lord stayed true to his promises and gave them one. And God will do the same thing to us. Just like how he promised Abraham and Sarah, he will promise us too, and his promises will always stay true. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you for keeping your promises true to us, just like how you did to Abraham and Sarah, even though when they were too old to have a baby. May you please be with us, protect us, and keep us safe. Be with those who are sick, may you lay a healing head upon them and restore their health. Be with those who are watching, may you be with them, protect them, and keep them safe. In Jesus' name, amen.